Hi everyone. Uh, this is practice test one, section four, okay, eleven. Okay. So you can you guys read question of you, okay? Primary is fifty four. If this is width, if this is length, length is about x plus two. The half of this perimeter is 27. Okay, so when you take up 2, that is 25. You can divide by 2, 12.5. So this is 12.5, this is 14.5. So the area is, you use your calculator. That is equals to, let's like, only this one is available, right? 181.25 centimeters square, okay? I think that's the answer. <coughs> Number 12. So which of the following is not solution? Okay. So the best way you don't have to grab of this inequality. It's just to try to check right all these options. Put this number quickly, right? X equal zero, y equals x equal zero, y equal zero. Okay. The first one is nine minus zero is greater than zero. That's true. A second one is two times three is six plus zero greater than zero. Yeah, that's the solutions. Second one is times two. 6 minus 5 greater than 0, that's true. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 5 is greater than 1, that's true. This is also belongs to the solution. A third one is when x equals 0, okay? So 0 minus, minus 3 is about 3 is greater than 0, that's fine. A second one is 2 times 0, 0, y is minus 3 is greater than 1. Negative number is not greater than 1. And this does not belong to the solution set, okay? That's the answer, number 12. Number 13, we have a table. That is a straight. You have a one more point. Not in this right, a uh, table. 16 and n. You can write down over here, 16 and n. So what is the value of m? So we need to find the slope of the line using these two points. 17 minus 14 is 3. k plus 2 minus k is 2. Slope is 3 over 2. The next one best choice is this two. M minus two. 16 minus zero is 16. That is equals to three over two. Using equivalent times eight times eight. So M minus two is 24. M is about plus to both sides. 26 is the answer, okay? The number 14. James spent three over four his allowance and another two third of left on about. Okay, finally he got the right p dollar to left. So which of the far is his allowance? Maybe you can use algebra, it doesn't matter, okay? Three over four x out. One fourth of x is the left, but this band two over three. That is how much? Two out of twelve, one over six x. He spent this amount. How much left? This one is 9 over 12x. This is 2 over 12x. He spent total by 11 over 12x. 1 over 12x is left. That is equals to P dollars. Times 12, x equals P. Okay? I'm sorry, x equals 12P, right? 12P is the answer. All right, the next one, number 15. The read question. Half life. Okay, reduced by to the half. So fifty percent reduced every year. Okay, not not every year. There is a half life with fifty years. That is our definition. If you have a y, this is the initial amount. Half life is already inside parentheses one half. So this is what, 1 minus 0.5, right? 50% de uh, decrease. But the next one is T over H. This number is half life. Okay, so initial amount is 800. Half life is uh, 50. That's the answer, okay? All right, number 16. Using the equations, you can find, okay? Remain radioactive 
after 200 years. So 800 times one half, 200 years here. 200 over 50 is what? 4, right? So that is 800 times 1 over 60. That is 50 is there, okay? <clears throat> the number 17, the area of this triangle OPQ, this is a given. How can you find the area of this base times? This base is a K plus 1, definitely the positive. Also, this height is perpendicular right to the base. This is K, also K is a positive, you know that. Okay, base times, height, and divided by 2 is a 3 is what times 2 is a 6, that's the area, right? Okay, K squared plus K minus 6, you can go to directly, okay? So K plus 3, K minus 2 is equal to 0. Over here, we can find K equals negative 3 and K equals 2. But K cannot have a negative number, so only this is available. K equals 2 is the answer. The number 18, we have a center. First, to set up the equation, x minus x1 and y minus y1 take the center, right? That is y squared equals to r squared. So I'm just going to pass this point, 7 and 4. That means what 7 and 4 must be on this circle. Put this number in there. 7 minus 4 is what? 3 squared is a 9. y squared is a 4, 16. That is equals to r squared, right? So r squared is how much? 25. Okay? All right. So where is the answer? x minus 4, y squared 25 is the answer, okay? Or you can find the r using what? Distance formula, okay? You can use what distance formula. This is a actual radius. Where this is what? 7 minus 4 square and plus 4 minus 0 square, okay? This is also what? 5, isn't it? But we need the r square, okay? This is 25. Right, this is number 19. The read question. Here you go. Average rate of change between negative 3 and 6. Here is a negative 3. This is a 6. So we make secant. Slope of this secant is called what? Average rate of change. The height is 5 over here. This side is 3. Okay, slope of this one. 5 minus 3 over what is the change in x? 6 minus minus 3. 9. Okay? So 2 over 9 is what is the average rate of change. Average rate of change is actually slow of secant. This line is called secant. Okay? All right, this is number 20. Emily traveled 60 miles highway, 60 miles local, and the highway 30 miles faster than local. Local speed is given over here. Local speed is given 20 miles per hour. And the highway 30 miles faster means what? 50 miles per hour. But there's a distance. Okay. Local is 16 miles. Highway is 60 miles. Now we're going to find out average speed during her entire trip. What is the definition of average speed? Average speed is what? Total distance over total time. That is definition. What is total distance? It's already got over here. 60 plus 70, uh, 16 plus 70 is what? Uh, 60 is 76. What is total time? So we have to find out distance. So that is distance divided speed. 16 over 20 is what? 0. 0.8 hours. A second one is 60 divided by 50 is what? 1.2 hours. Total travel distance, a uh, travel time is what? 1.2 plus 0. 0.82. When you divide by 2, 38 miles per hour, that is average speed. So number 21, ticket for adult is $5 more than a ticket for child. Child ticket is X, adult ticket is what? 
x plus 5. There were six adults, ten child, ten children, paid total 120. So sum of this one, 10x plus 6 times x, 6x plus 30, total, this is total, $142. That is 16x equals 112, x equals 7. So we're going to find what? One adult and a child. This is being asked. So this is what is what? $7. One adult is about seven plus five is twelve dollars. Some of these two amount is nineteen dollars. Okay. Number twenty-two. So we have a scatter plot and the line of S three. This is the line of liberation. That is a linear. Average speed for the driver. Okay, this scatter plot shows what. Speed was every hour, okay? One hour, speed is zero. Two hour, this is the very distance, okay? So what is the speed? Distance divide hour. You can use any point. How many this point is very, okay, cross-section of, okay? The latest point here. Four hours, you travel 200 point. Divided by four, and that is average speed. Okay, which one is close to this number? 59 degrees, okay? Okay. I'll see you in the next video again, okay? Continue 23 to 38.